Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the Chamber Monterra Micro Hydro Scheme, which is an example of a small scale sustainable energy generation project. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Chamba Matera is an isolated village on the eastern slopes of the Andes in North Peru, pictured on the screen. The population is scattered with most people engaged in subsistence farming, such as growing coffee. The mountainous terrain makes it difficult to provide the population with electricity for heat, light and other power uses. The roads through the steep slopes are impassable during winter, making the area inaccessible, hence the low population density, and it is not economically feasible to build an electricity grid here. 25% of the population of Peru do not have access to grid electricity, and in jungle areas like the eastern slopes of the Andes, this figure rises to about 68%, around 5 million people in total. No access to electricity makes it hard for people to escape poverty. However, this mountainous area has many rivers and streams and a high level of rainfall, so the potential for hydroelectric power is huge. This is where micro hydro power comes in. Practical Action, which is an NGO, has helped to install 47 micro hydro schemes across Peru, providing electricity to about 5,000 families. The Chamba Monterra micro hydro scheme is an example of this. It cost 51,000 US dollars to set up and run. This was funded partially by the government, partly by a Japanese investment, and partly by the local community. Local households each contributed about 750 US dollars to the project using a credit scheme to pay for this. Practical Action helped local people to build a four bay, which is a small storage dam, and you can see one of these on the screen. This diverts the water into a penstock, which is a high pressure pipe, through which the water flows down a steep gradient. Water leaving the penstock rotates the blades of the hydro turbine, which then drives a generator providing electricity to local communities. Most of the turbines are manufactured by small companies in Peru to practical action designs, with each company making three or four turbines per year, creating around 250 person days of work. These sustainable small-scale schemes are providing clean renewable energy to rural communities across this region of Peru. They are very simple run-of-the-river schemes that divert water from streams or rivers rather than using dams and reservoirs. This has two benefits. The lack of dams and reservoirs mean that these systems are a cheap way to generate power and that they don't cause widespread social and environmental impacts like larger hydroelectric power schemes do. There is also less need for the local communities to burn wood as a source of heating, so the risk of deforestation and soil re erosion is reduced. There have been numerous benefits to the people of Chamba Monterra. Let's start off with the economic benefits. The micro hydro scheme has given people the opportunity to start local businesses, for example, using the energy to drive small machines for coffee dehusking and processing, setting up bars and restaurants, making furniture, and setting up businesses linked to farming, including an ice cream factory. These have all led to many job opportunities. The scheme has also had a good impact on health and education in the area. The energy provided means that health centres can operate vaccine refrigerators, maintain records on computer and use radio links for communication, as well as offering a generally improved service through the use of electric lights. It has also meant that dental services have been introduced to the area. The electricity can also be used for sterilisers and electric boilers. There are also benefits to education. Schools can use computers, photocopiers and AV technology in lessons and children are now able to study at home in the evenings with electric light. In addition, the energy can be used to set up community enterprises such as internet cafes, which children and their families can make use of for studying, accessing medical advice and to access information useful to farming such as weather forecasts. And finally, the micro hydro scheme means there is no need for kerosene lamps in Chambo Monterra. Electric lighting has replaced kerosene lamps in homes, improving indoor air quality and reducing the risk of fires from spilt fuel or lamps, and also reducing the breathing problems and eye irritation associated with kerosene. 
Electricity also means that families can have fridges and food processors, as well as radio, TV and DVD players for home entertainment. The Chambo Monterra Micro Hydro Scheme is an example of a sustainable strategy to increase energy supplies. Sustainable solutions have the following features in common. They are small scale. They improve the quality of life for individual communities rather than whole regions or countries. They are easy to manage and they are relatively cheap. They also use appropriate technology. These are small projects using basic machinery that are cheap and easy to maintain. This is better than using complex machinery that requires specialist skills to operate and maintain. Sustainable energy projects need to be managed by the local community rather than relying on other people. For example, local people build and maintain them so if they break down, they know how to carry out repairs. They also involve local decision making. Local people decide what they need to improve their energy supply, where they'll build their project, how big it will be and all sorts of other things. It is not just telling the people involved what they need. Therefore, there is more buy-in and projects are likely to be more effective. Finally, they are reliant on non-governmental organisations. NGOs have no government funding and they rely on donations. For example, Practical Action, who are involved here. They work across LICs and NEEs to improve access to safe and reliable energy supplies. NGOs are really important as they give local communities the support and skills they need to get their sustainable projects up and running. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on micro hydro schemes in the Andes. Thank you for watching.